hey guys welcome back to my channel um in today's video i'm going to be doing a q a um and it's just going to be so that you guys can get to know me a little better um and so yeah let's get into it so i had uh my friends and family um i kind of asked them to ask me some questions um so that you guys can better get to know me and i kind of broke them down by category i think i broke all of them down um but yeah so um let's get started um just to give a little uh, background my name is rain i'm 24 years old um and yeah i'm excited so let's get into these questions um so if you see me looking down i'm just looking down at my phone um so the first set of questions are christ-based questions um and yeah all right so the first question is what year and what made you give your life to Christ? Um, and then one of my other friends also said your testimony. So I kind of combined those two together because I feel like they kind of go together. Um, so yeah, that's the first question. Um, so what year and what made me give my life to Christ? Um, so I'm gonna try to make this as brief as possible. <laughs> um, so, our first day 2019 was i think like the starting um year i think that's when things kind of like i don't know things just kind of there wasn't a shift but it's like i started to want to involve god in my life more so i was saying 2019 i can't remember what made me like say oh i want to start going to church again because i I wasn't really going like that and at that point I was in I was still in college um so I wasn't really going like I would be spending my weekends in my um apartment so yeah like I said I don't know what made me but I was like I want to start going to church again that was like the first thing in 2019 so um I had reached out to my cousin who was living in Baltimore at the um who's living in Baltimore while I was in Baltimore at the time and I was like I her, you know like what church do you go to and she was like you know she goes to a church um back home because I'm from the D uh I'm from the DC area and so she was just like you know she goes to a church back home um like in maryland and so i i think i had asked i was like um you know can i go with you or something so that ended up becoming a routine where i like started going right to church and i really like liked the church um because i think like growing up in church i was never really paying attention <laughs> to like what they were or like what the preacher was talking about um and so yeah I really liked the church so it was we just kind of made a routine and we were going like almost every Sunday it wasn't every Sunday but it was like almost every um Sunday so that happened and then so because I really liked the church that she introduced me to um uh, in 2020 I ended up getting saved now mind you this was during COVID so I got saved um what was this doing oh it was like do you want to become like a member of the church and so like me and my family did it because uh, i introduced them to the church as well like they really liked it and so um yeah we have we was doing like a members um what is it it's like a members uh basically like trying to join the church that's the best way to explain it trying to join the church and it was like a zoom call and so we were doing that and so i felt it on my heart um someone was like you know he, he was he was asking us he was like you know is there anybody on this call because it wasn't just my family it was like other people on there as well and so he was like you know is there anybody on here that you know wants to give saving wants to get saved and give their life to christ and so in my heart i felt it um i felt moved to do it because like growing up you know my parents i was like oh like they would like nudge me <laughs> while we were in church but like, oh do you want to get saved like and like even you know when they would be like oh you know ask your neighbor like are they safe <laughs> i would hate that like i really would hate being asked that question um but 
this time I actually felt like moved to do it um so I got saved in 2020 but although I got saved I didn't really know what that meant like I didn't know what that meant because I was still like once I had got saved you know I was still in college during that time so I was just like living my life <laughs> to say that like I was just I was still doing whatever um I wanted so I didn't really know what like I didn't really know that being saved meant like giving God my yes and surrendering my life to him. I didn't, I wasn't there yet. I was just doing whatever I wanted. <laughs> um, but I didn't really know what like being saved actually meant. So yeah, that was that. 2022 was, was, was the big shift. That was when everything just started to like, in 2022, everything just started to change, honestly, for me. So yeah, 2022 was when things really kind of shifted for me um and so one of um i would say the first thing that probably like started my relationship with god was um one of uh, one girl on instagram and i would always see her she was always posting about christ and things like that and i was kind of like what is that about and that, that was like the first instance and i remember she had ended up i think i ended up dming her or something like that um and i had asked her um what did i ask her i'm trying to remember what i asked her i don't remember what i asked her but i remember dming her and she had ended up inviting me to her bible study which is called b2b which is brokenness to beauty and i would say that's when god started pulling me and he was like I want a relationship with you. I want a relationship with you. So that was kind of like the first thing. With me. Um, and then the second thing was, like I told you guys in my introduction video, was my sister. Like she was like, I was noticing different changes in her and she was like, you know, reading her Bible more and praying more and like telling us about her journey um, with Christ a little bit. And I was like, okay, well, what is this about? Like I'm seeing two different, two different women, um, you know, getting closer to God and have a relationship with God and I was like hmm, what is this about like I want to know what this is about um and so I think I just there was like a pulling of like God saying I want a relationship with you like and so um I said okay <laughs> and so I started uh reading the bible for myself I was going to bible studies um and just praying and that just kind of like made me want to go deep i don't know there was just i don't even know how to explain it it, it, it was just like god i want to know more about you like i want to know who you are um and so um yeah i would say that's the main thing um i think as well i've used tiktok as a tool because i've seen like other christians and believers talk about their journeys with christ on there and things like that so I would say those have been like the main things. Um, I don't know that maybe get my life to Christ. Like I saw other people. Like I've I heard um, the girl who invited me to the Bible said like I heard her testimony. I saw my sister like she was giving up certain things and you know replacing it more with Christ. And so I was just like, what is this about? Um, and I would say that's what really made me want to give my life to Christ or want to develop a deeper relationship with Him. Um, and I still do want that deeper relationship. Like this year, I want to go deeper, um, in my relationship with him. Um, and eventually like, I would like to, um, uh, you know, rededicate my life to Christ and I would eventually want to get baptized, um, and things like that. Um, so yeah, I would say that answered that question. I feel like that was long. Um but yeah i don't know i had wrote down a verse in here that i guess i wanted to share with y'all based on my response give me one second i'm gonna look it up okay i think i wanted to share that because we need god in our lives like we cannot um we cannot live our lives without him and that's just plain and simple um because he is the source of all things and no i'm not saying life is going to be perfect but it's better with him 
And I can say that from my journey from 2019, from the woman I was in 2019 to the woman I am today, like two different people. And it's really because of him. Like he is the source of all things. So I want to leave you guys uh, with, from my whole testimony and sharing how I came to Christ. I want to leave you guys with 1 Corinthians verse eight. It says, yet for us, there is one God, the father, all things are from him and we exist from him and there was no and there is one lord jesus christ all things are through him and we exist through him um so yeah i just want to leave you guys with that um and on to the next question all right so my next question was what challenges do you face frequently on this journey with christ and i thought that was a really um good question um let me just get a sip of my water. This water is so good. If you like um, sparkling water, get you one of these. Um, okay. So yeah, my question was, what challenges do you face frequently on this journey with Christ? I would say my main thing, well, one of the first things I wrote down, I said was um, trusting God, like having faith. Um, I think a lot of the times I will like worry about something and I'll be like, okay, why am I worrying? Like, let me pray about this. But then it's like, I pray about it. And then it's like, um, I'm like, okay, I prayed about it, but I'm still worrying. And the two can't exist. Like, you have to be able to trust God and let the worry go. Like, you have to, like, you have to just have faith in Him. Like, trust Him. Like, put your 100% trust in Him. And so I would say that's something that I really struggle with. Um, that's one of the main things. Um, so yeah, the second thing I wrote down was denying my flesh. Um, and I think that comes with self-control, one of the fruits of the spirit. Um, I think a lot of times I like to do what I want to do. Um, and sometimes I'll catch it when I'll be like, okay, if I just did something like, no, we're not going to even like entertain that. Um, but then other times I might like let my flesh take over. And so really it's just a part, it's really, it really just has to come to the practice of like, no, like I'm not going to go with what my flesh wants to do, what I want to do. I'm going to go with what God says I should do and what God wants me to do. Um, and so I would say that's one of, uh, another thing that I have struggled with. Um, so yeah, I think with that it just comes with like you have to be in that mindset of like okay i, ha I have to do what what's going to going to be pleasing to god and not what's going to be pleasing to myself um and that's another struggle that i have personally uh, been dealing with and so yeah just going into that like um it really just comes down to like praying this kind of leads into like my my last thing that I feel like I've struggled with is like praying consistently, um, being consistent in prayer. Um, and so I think that goes hand in hand with like denying my flesh and trusting God, like asking him, okay, Lord, help me to trust in you 100% completely. And Lord, help me to deny other things of my flesh. Um, and so, um, and like saying like, praying like, Lord, what do you want me to do? Um, and these are things that I just need to like put into practice consistently and not just sometimes. Um, and with that, I think I wrote down for you guys, uh, don't flirt with sin. <laughs> that was, that was what I wrote down from the denying my flesh piece. Like, don't do it. Don't flirt with sin. Cause you're going to, you're just going to get caught up every time. Um, what is it uh flee from it i don't know what that verse is um but i did leave a verse with you guys for that about not flooding with sin because sin will get you caught up um so let me go to so yes it says so then brothers and sisters we are not obligated to the flesh to live according to the flesh because if you live according to the flesh you are going to die but if by the spirit you put to death 
the deeds of the body you will live um and that is just like a reminder for myself like don't let your flesh like don't let your flesh lead you don't let it guide you let god's word guide you um and so that's for you guys and me um so yeah i would say those are my main three things trust in god deny my flesh and like being consistent with prayer i would say those are my main three things that i feel like i've struggled with or challenges that i faced um on my walk with christ okay so this is my last uh christ related question um i was asked how is your relationship with god and how can you get closer um i mean we cool like <laughs> me and god are cool um i think our relationship could be better and i think a lot of that has to do with me um and just like putting the effort like the same way we have you know friendships and relationships like you go out with your friends, y'all go out to eat, y'all go to the mall, y'all go, you know, um, uh, bowling or whatever it is. Like when you go out on a date, same thing. Like when you go out, when you go on a date with someone you're interested in, same thing. Like you have to, I have to, you have to spend time with God. Like you have to get in the word, uh, pray. Um, yeah. So I would say we good, we cool. Like. We locked in like I want my relationship with him to be deeper um, and go deeper um, and that's just my goal um, and so I want to spend more time with him um, so yeah I'm going to Bible studies listen to podcasts I was like I'm just thinking of things like that can just help uh, build my relationship and your relationship with God um, so yeah I would say we're good and to get closer, just spending time with him, like making like setting, being intentional, like setting intentional time to spend time with God. Um, so yeah, I would say that's how, that's how our relationship's going. Um, so next we have a question about YouTube. So what made you decide to get into YouTube? The Lord, um, <laughs> I would say the Lord. Um, I felt like he put it on my heart for a while um, to kind of start like making content about him and just spreading the word. Um, and for a while, I was kind of hesitant about it. Um, but yeah, I would say the Lord, like that's what really made me want to start. And I would say as well, like growing up, I would always watch like in high school. I think that's when I really started like watching YouTube like that. It may have been before then, but high school, I really remember like I was really into YouTube and I would watch like um, couples and um, I did watch like individual channels. So um, yeah, growing up, I watched it and I always thought hmm, maybe I could do that. But because of my reserved nature, I was like, I don't know if I could see myself doing that, but um, here we are now. <laughs> so yeah, I would really say like um, how I really got started and wanted to do it, the Lord, like I felt like he was calling me to do it and start uh, talking like about him and spreading his word. So yeah. So um, the next question is, why did you choose the social work path? Um, so to answer that um i feel like i didn't really choose social work social work chose me <laughs> and so what i mean by that is like originally i did not want to do social work i wanted to be a physical therapist um and really i was only doing it because i thought they would make good money um and i knew i also wanted to help people that was another main thing but i knew they made good money and that's why i wanted to go into it um, and this was like my senior year of high school. I wanted to, I knew I wanted to do that. Um, well, no, has it been a little bit, maybe it was the start of senior year. Um, but then I was like, I'm not good at science. And I don't know if I really want to do that for the rest of my life. And so I took a step back and thought about what I wanted to do. Um, and it kind of dawned on me that like, I was always, um, like I was always the friend that people ask for advice. And so I was like, okay, 
well, I like helping people. I was like, I like helping people. Um, and both of my parents were social workers. And so I would kind of hear about, you know, a little details about like their work life and things like that. And so I kind of just started researching social work to like see what it was. Um, and then, yeah, I just ended up like going with it. And I don't even know, like when I tell you these things happen, like, it just be like thoughts to just be implemented in my mind. Like it was just social work. And then I researched it and I was like, okay, I can see myself doing this. And originally I wanted to be a marriage counselor. I was like, I can see myself doing that. Um, Cause you know, I'm a lover girl. Like, and I was like, I can see myself helping couples and helping married people and figuring out their relationships and stuff. So I was like, okay, I can see myself doing it. Um, and so I started like my classes for social work and I enjoyed like the topics that we talked about in all of our classes, except for policy. That was not my favorite. Um, but like everything else was really cool. Pretty cool for the most part. Um, so yeah, I would say that's why I chose social work. Like I know that um, within the black community, like mental health is not something we take seriously. And so I wanted to help kind of destigmatize that um, in my community and kind of like just help um, people like deal with and process their mental health issues and things like that and so yeah that's why I chose slush work um, yeah oh and also just want to say like I love what I'm doing in the field like I enjoy um, being able to just work with different individuals and different personalities and like talk to them about what's going on in their lives and just helping them process and work through and you know help them give them new ways to handle situations like I like doing that um, so yeah my next question was um, how is life treating you post-grad I would say life has been treating me well um, after I graduated undergrad and went to grad school, um, I did um, an advanced standing program. Um, so it was like a year program, it was really quick. So I, uh, I got my master's in 2023, so last year. Uh, I passed my license, my licensure on the first try. All praise goes to God for that one. Um, and now I'm just working in the field. Um, I, I do work with, uh, youth, um, and yeah, I just love what I do. Um, I think it can be challenging at times, definitely can be challenging, um, but I would say I'm growing and learning as a, a budding social worker, and so, yeah, I'm just looking forward to all the things that I will continue to do in the future. So, yeah, I would say life post-grad is treating me well. Okay, so the next question I got was, if you could go back to undergrad, would you do um, anything differently? If so, elaborate. Um, I wrote down a couple things. My first thing was scholarships. So I would find scholarships. Um, I would not take out student loans, child. Um, I would have not taken out any loans. I would have found more scholarships because these paying back these loans is not it <laughs> just to, to keep it brief but yeah I would say finding scholarships that would have been one of my main things um my second thing was um I think undergrad was really like a learning experience like I really grew a lot um like there was so many great labs memories i built so many great friendships um and there were also you know hard times like there were fun times um such as you know heartbreaks the little mental health issues things like that um but i would say my main thing i would probably i wish i would have had better discernment um about just certain people situations like I wish I would have had, yeah, I just wish I would have had better discernment about different things because I probably would have moved differently. Um, 
But yeah, so that's, I would say those are my main two, like finding scholarships and just better discernment. But overall, like undergrad was, um, it was a good experience. Like I appreciate all the growing and things that I've learned. Um, so yeah, I would say, yeah. So, um, this next section of questions is about like life stuff. Um, so it says, how do you notice when you're getting off track and how do you put yourself back on track? Um, so when I notice I'm feeling off track, I would say I'm kind of feeling like down, um, maybe burnt out, tired, um, not wanting to really do anything. Um, I guess for me, I'll take getting off track as like getting off track from like my, reaching my goals, my ultimate goals. And so, yeah, I would say like when I'm feeling down, burnt out, tired, um, not wanting to do anything, like I'm feeling like really depleted, like that's when I feel like I'm getting off track. Um, and then the second part was, how do you get yourself back on track? Self care, taking care of yourself. Um, I would say taking care of myself, like you cannot pour from empty cups. So taking care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually are all important. Um, so I would say self care, like, uh, physically, whether that's working out, um, doing a face mask, whatever. Um, mentally, um, I would say going to therapy, um, journaling, all for things spiritually, being in my word, reading my Bible, Bible study, um, hanging out with my sisters in Christ, things like that, all help me. Um, spiritually so yeah I'm trying to think I'm missing anything physically mentally emotionally yeah self-care is important take care of yourself because if not if I don't take care of myself like I'm not going to be able to stay on track to reach the goals that I have um, so yeah taking care of yourself is important someone asked me what are some of my goals for 2024 as I said earlier, one of my main ones is to grow deeper in my relationship with Christ. Like that's one of my main goals um, for this year. And then my second goal um, is to really just be like consistent in everything that I do. Like consistency is big for me. Like being consistent with the things and uh, being dedicated um, and having discipline over being lazy. Um, so yeah, I would say definitely, uh, being consistent with everything when it comes to my YouTube, uh, when it comes to my job, when it comes to working out, um, those are the main things I think when it comes, when it comes, uh, to taking care of my uh, mental health, like I want to be consistent in all of these areas, in every area of my life. I want to be like, I just want to just be consistent with it. <laughs> That's really consistency. Um, so yeah. That is that. Um, so here are two like just um, fun or random questions. Uh, so what's one activity or hobby that makes you lose track of time? When I saw this question, I merely thought of The Sims because I can play The Sims all day long. Now, sometimes I will need a break because I'll like get bored with it, but then I'll be like, oh, I just thought of a new idea like that I can play or uh, put together and I'll do it um so yeah I really love the sims like I'm not really a builder in the sims but like I like just making sims and creating different storylines um and ha watching them unfold and seeing what the game does so yeah um the sims that is something I could do all day long um yeah I love playing the sims um next question is what is one thing you wish you had more time to do I said reading. I wish I had more time to read. And I feel like I do have the time. I just feel like my time gets, um, I guess wasted, you could say. I feel like I spend too much time on social media. And so I feel like if I were to spend less time on it, I would have more time to read. Um, Cause I have like two books that I started and I haven't finished them yet. And so I want to get be more consistent. Consistency. There we go. I want to be more consistent with reading. Um, so yeah. 
All right, last question to end the video um, is highlights of your past year. Um, so the first thing I said was like passing my licensure. Like that was a highlight graduating from a grad school with a master's degree in social work. Like, yeah, I really did that. Um, and praise goes to God for that. Um, I would say as well, getting a job that I was not expecting, like, I was not expected to be working with the population that I'm working with now. And so working with them now and like me enjoying working with the kids, like that's amazing. Um, so yeah, I wasn't expecting to like working with um, high schoolers, but I enjoy it. Um, so yeah. Um, and then lastly, I mean, this is really 2024, but starting my channel, like stepping out on faith, um, and just, yeah, just stepping out on faith and trusting God. Like, like I said, for a while, like I was hesitant to start. Um, and I had a lot of like, um, just worry or anxiety about starting my channel. Um, but I'm glad that I have now and I feel like I'm becoming more comfortable with sitting in front of the camera. Um, so yeah, that was the last question. Um, I just want to shout out and thank my friends and family for sending me these questions. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.